I have come up with a list of my top 10 favorite, most beautiful, and most attractive women in one piece. It's a top 10 list. Yeah, I'm taking a page out of David Letterman. And yet, to keep, to, keep, to keep in mind, this is my top 10 list in there. And one piece is lousy with um, beautiful, sexy women. But this is my personal top 10 of the top 10 women that actually do it for me. So this is going to be a personal list. You don't have to agree with it, but this is my list. Notable mentions. Before we get to that, honorable mentions. Rebecca, princess of Dressrosa. I do love a good gladiator woman. Uh, let's see. Who else? Um, Koala of the Revolutionary Army. Barely made out the list, but if it was extended to a top 15, I would definitely she would definitely be on it. And finally, Dr. Kareha from Drum Island or so of the Sakura Kingdom. Yeah, yeah, I know she's over 100 years old, but I still knock the dust off that old woman. Mm. So without further ado, these are my top 10 hottest women in One Piece. Enjoy. So, And these are not in any particular order. These are just my favorite One Piece women. Number 10. And this one is, is, is not going to be any surprise to anybody. Lilith, one of the satellites of Dr. Vegapunk from Egghead Island. I've already mentioned my adoration and love of this woman in my previous streams. Hell, I even got a short just me talking about how fine and shapely her bottom is. I actually got in trouble for it by YouTube for, for some stuff. <laughs> but yeah... I just love Lilith. Her design is cool. I like the way her hair just drifts over her eye, and she's got curbs for days. Mm -mm -mm. Lilith making science all the more attractive. Number nine, Yamato from from Wano. Yeah, Yamato is she is a tall drink of water, busty, beautiful, and has no problem being nude around other men. Yeah, and I'm calling her a her because, well, Oda calls her a her. He, he has her labeled as a female in his Ravari card, so it's his character. He can call her whatever sex he wants because it's his character, so I'm going with a, with a her. And Yamato is damn skippy beautiful. Like, I've off, I've said this in my, in, in my um, One Piece fanfic. If Luffy were ever to settle down and get married, I think Yamato would be first on his list because she is just so... Uh, even Luffy would have problems with her. Yep. Number eight. One of the official members of the Straw Hat Pirates, Princess Vivi of Alabasta. Anybody knows me knows that I am having weakness for blue-haired women. I'm looking at you, Botan. But that's another here nor there. And I love Vivi. Interesting character, great character design, fun, easily integrated with the crew, and... Yeah, she is an unofficial. She's an official straw hat, but just not with them. And with everything that's been going on in the manga, hopefully the straw hats will come and help her out because she's still hanging out with Big News Morgans and all this other stuff. And Vivi has just been a, a, a personality unto her, all unto herself. And the current and the revelation of her family's history just makes her all the better. So Vivi, my number eight, my number <laughs> number eight, number seven. Amazon Lily. We're going to Amazon Lily with Marguerite. Yeah, the very first girl that Luffy made friends with. Blonde-haired, bob-tailed, I mean, with a bob cut and just... <sighs> yeah, she's also one of those women that I really think Luffy would um, settle down and marry if one day because she just, she just kind of gets Luffy. And also her curiosity over his golden balls are, just makes her all the better. I love her design. I love, I love her personality. I love how she goes from not to knowing too much about Luffy to being an absolute supporter of his. Honestly, if, if she had the opportunity, she would jump, jump aboard and travel with the Straw Hats. Not as a member of the crew, but she would travel along with him just because it'd be fun. What is that? All right. Let's see. Where are we? We are number six. Number six. This one is a very underrated hot pick. Domino. From Impaled Down. Yeah, the bespectacled blonde-haired jailer in Impaled Down. She really doesn't get enough love from the um, from the One Piece fan community and the and the hentai drawers. Domino is fucking sexy. 
and she just has this. She, she doesn't take crap from nobody, and I just really, really love her overall design, the whole prison guard aesthetic, and she shows just the amount of that of that curvature that just really sets the, your, stu your, 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 your body ablaze. Very underrated. Yes, Devil, she is a very underrated chick. Uh, and she's, but she's kind of terrifying if you're a prisoner and impale down because she can fucking hurt you anyways if it's a Sunday and you'd be able to do nothing about it. But I'm all for it. I like her. I really like her. Domino. All right. Number five goes without saying. You can't have a list of the top ten hottest women of One Piece without mentioning the navigator of the Straw Hat Pirates, Miss Nami, the cat burglar, both pre- and post time skip. Uh, I really enjoy her pre time skip stuff, but the, her added long hair just really sets it off for me. At first, I wasn't a big fan of her having the long hair, but the more she styled it and the more she played with it because she always changes her looks with each and new each new arc, it really came into its own, and I really love it. What more can you say about Nami? Nami is hot, and just above her. Remember, this is not an order. This is just what I, just the women I find a, a hot. Number four position, we got none other than the archaeologist of the Straw Hat Pirates, Miss Nico Robin, both pre- and post-time skip. I can't really pick a, pick a design because both exude this mature quality to her. Like in her pre-time skip design, she, uh, she just had this uh, dark sexiness about her, especially when she starts being more comfortable in her own skin. But after post time skip, she really lets her hair down, literally. Took me a while to get used to it, but I really dig it. She just really grows on you, and it's Robin. Like, like, like Hunchko's videos said, these are the two baddest bitches he has ever seen in his life. So, goes without saying, these two on the list. All right, number three, we're going to Zoe, and we got to pick someone who was been around the straw hats for a while for about three arcs carrot that's right carrot the bunny girl yeah i i just have an affinity for bunny girls i, I don't know why there's a reason why i like judy hop so much i don't know but just her enthusiasticness her her, her willingness to do guard shoe and just her general just she can be both adorable but she also, she's also a badass warrior in her own right like she could beat your ass too because every mink in Zo can throw hands from the from the youngest child to the oldest senior citizen everyone in 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 Zo has hands and carrot is no exception and when she turns shoe long i mean oh my gosh she goes from cute to be mm, 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 mm. damn yeah it would she would have been a nice lookout for the straw hat pirates if she joined devil yeah, but we can't. But we all can't get what we want. But I hope we see more of Carrot again, just because I love bunny girls. Number two, um, we're going back to Amazon Lily, and no, we're not going for Boa Hancock. No, we're actually going for one of her sisters, Sandra Sonia. That's right, one of her younger sisters, the big, beautiful, aqua, blue-haired beauty who turns into a cobra, or well, not a cobra, an anaconda very underrated when it, when people talk about hot hot chicks and the tongue that tongue is like oh uh, so um what can you do with that tongue just saying but yeah uh, if as far as i would say sandra sonny is sonia is very very underrated in terms of one piece women she doesn't get enough love just because she's tall and has a square shaped sort of head she's still just very hot i'd say she's hotter than her than her older sister She's hotter than, than Hancock. There, I said it. Fight me. And number one, not in terms of beauty, but just the, of my personal list, another very, very slept on woman who I'd very much like to sleep with is Ms. Valentine's Day from Baroque Works. Yep. Oh, Mike, you, you, you beautiful bastard. You got to say the Anna. Yeah, I, that Anaconda, I want some of that. But uh, Miss Valentine, another extremely underrated beauty. Like I, I love the, that her yellow aesthetic. I love her design. I love her her eyes, her hair, 
the, the parasol she wears. I'm just, it, she just is, she's really, really underrated. Yeah, and uh, we need more of them. In fact, I think I really should write that one piece fanfic about her because she doesn't get enough love in both the fan art department, the hentai department, or the fan fiction department. You'd be hard pressed to find any uh, fanfics with Miss Valentine in it, but I'm gonna change that soon. And that has been my top, my list of the top 10 hottest women in One Piece. I appreciate you guys for sticking around. Yeah, I appreciate it. And hopefully we'll be doing more of these top 10 lists for um, women of various other groups. 